Good afternoon, everybody. This is Celtics 84. This is part 11 of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Last time we left off, we killed Hooktail and we got our first crystal star. And it'd be the first chapter. And now, I think we know where the princess is, or do we? Oh, great. Exhorted Grotus. We brought the princess peach here. You order, sir. Okay. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? So here we meet Grotus. Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely, absolutely honest with us. We, x knots are not all rainbows or lollipops. I assure you, we, we're quite nasty. I can see that. Grota, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. It was me! What? What? What do you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated the Hooktail creature? You say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more to see. According to the report, it was a mustache dude in the red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh no! I see. So, do you know this Mario, do you? Well, this fool of Mary is not at all. I know all about him before long, that I promise. I grew bored talking to take Princess Peach back to, her, to the holding room. Yes, sir. And, uh, man. Take good care of this Peach, you understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Hmm. She is so she he doesn't want to harm the princess. Well, Lord Crump. If this Mario Cat hits the map, then it's highly likely he'll find it with a star we're hunting in Boggly Woods. See? As I said before, you know it's in the red titles? That's important, and that's where we need to go. You must return there immediately and hasten the evacuation. It must not fail. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Roger Grotus. I'm with that. Pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. X not. I summon you. I like how he covered his face. <laughs> you rang, dude. I mean, sir. You rang, sir. Grotus, dude. Grotus, sir. Grotus, sir. Shut up. Get, get the shadow shamans over here. The sh shadow sirens, sir. But they. I don't care how you plan to end this in this fall. Go get them now. Gotcha. The shadow siren. Hmm. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, then we arrive without delay. So there go the Shadow Sirens. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess play where the map is? Still your tongue about him. We will already have it if you snatched her earlier. But now since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. So that's the bitch that grabbed Princess Peach. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes out there, too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to we had to retreat. Toes worse. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your that is your duty. Must I remind you, the that map is vital to the external plan. I will have my men prepare all available information of this Mario. For now, hear me about him. You, Cheryl Sandwich, must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, Siren. I bet him shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelings. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We got a job to do. Uh, that fat bitch. <laughs> Okay. That's it for Peach's story, I think. 
Oh wait, it's not over yet. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Well, believe it, you bitches always get kidnapped. Mario and Toad work must be very sick again. But, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I? Anyway, this is so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toad know that I've been caught. Well, you should have put your cell phone. Alright, now I take control of Peach, just like Paper Mario 64. But this story is like... This story is much similar to Paper Mario 64. All you gotta do now is use the joystick to control Peach. And everyone don't do nothing but open doors. Let's see what's in this room right here. It's a shower. What a lovely shower. No soap, scum even. Wow. What if it works? Oh shoot, we get to watch Princess Peach take a shower. Wow, she took her dress off. Oh, Princess Peach, I want to see your pussy. Ah, oh. ah, hee hee hee. Well, sorry I can't see her pussy because this game is E-rated for everyone. If we did, it would have been rated A or M for mature audience. Alright. Enough of that. Enough drooling over Princess Peach's naked body. Let's see what we gotta do. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Well, I like her hair though. But when you go to the next room, her hair automatically changes. Uh oh. Hmm, what was that? Hey, how odd, those doors open by themselves. Hmm, let's go investigate. Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Like I said, let's investigate. There's something strange about this place. Uh-oh. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. So more yay for cutscenes. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What's that? Who said that? Who are you? Where are you? How amusing! I am right here before your eyes. I am the le I am this laboratory's main computer. I am Tech XX, but call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is false in his reasons. Rotus, wait, he's that awful dome headed thing who interrogated me, right? Yup. Sir Rotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Not really. He's a dickhead. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I changed your mind, so I'm wondering, why'd you leave me here? I I am unsure an unusual program deflation occurred when I observed you earlier. My high brain <laughs> Something might have functioned and nearby overheated at your image. Also, an uh, identified input spit through your processes. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well as I ran di diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such as, compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown, the perfect computer. I must diagnose the unusual situation. I will not fail. This is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Let me think that computer got a thing from Princess Peach. Could it be you? No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my mind's function, then you must tell me. Oh, I couldn't really because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's bestest computer and I am perfect. There should not be anything that I can do, understand? Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that you're in love? With me? Oh, love? What is that? Love? I cannot compute this. Well, if you're a computer, how can you know what love is? Well, you don't know what love is? I just said that. Love? How do I explain? Love, love tells you when you want to be with that person forever. Just, that is true, just like me and Rachel. It makes you feel happy just to see that person is happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you want to do anything to help when he and she is in trouble. Happiness, fun? I have definitions for those words, but my programming is insignificant. 
There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love. Love is not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. That is true. And he's speechless. Princess Peach, will you teach me how to feel a thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would I... Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand the thing called love. Please, if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I want to grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such as letting you escape. Are you insane? You extra kidnap me. It's Command Coopers. It's Command Coopers. And now you call me here to ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. Yes, yeah, spit on your screen. You grant my wishes. How? Why should I believe in you? I understand you're angry. That emotion I forever had. You did not teach me now. I must learn this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why if you would teach, teach us to consider teaching me, I would grant you wishes. Man, this shit is long. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, okay, here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better? Yes, of course you may. You may use my communication to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you wish, you can see it right now. It's no trouble. You can use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipe address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Ah, she's just pressing buttons, and what happens? Okay, it's ready, Tech. Can you send it? Yeah, we got 12 minutes already. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may want to return to your room. I will call you again when I want to ask you something. Alright. Uh... Okay, then. Good night. So, she leaves the room, and... Good night, Princess Peach. What a rare computer, but I love tech. Alright, so next time on part 12, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can find the next crystal star, but first, I'm gonna stop this video. Until next time, Celtics A42 out.